Hi everyone. So what I want to show you how to do is how you can use Rhino as a drawing tool. I think we think of it as a really great modeling tool. And I know that you all use it as a first step when making presentation drawings, um, typically by using um, the make 2D command and then taking that into Illustrator. However, Rhino can um, actually be a really good drawing tool in its own right if you know how to use it. And that's what I want to go over. So it's not that Illustrator, uh, the Illustrator workflow that we've taught you and that you have focused on is, um, is bad. It is, um, however, time consuming. So what we want to do is give you some uh, tricks for making nice drawings right out of Rhino. And what we're going to focus on and what I'm going to show you in this series of tutorials is how you can make something like this. So this is a drawing which I put together, which is coming uh, directly out of Rhino. You can see that it has shadows. It has line weights. Um, also, the shadows are not just a tone, but also um, include a hatch. And so what I'm going to be going over is how you can set something like this up using Rhino very quickly so that when you want to print drawings for desk crits um, and even for presentations, you're not stuck with having to go into Illustrator every time. And along with that, I think it's important to recognize that some of the tricks that I might be showing you could get your material further along before you take it into Illustrator. And uh, that could also save you time. And uh, I guess the last point that I would make is that um, we really want you to uh, focus on precision in your drawing. And I think that Rhino as a drafting tool is a better place for you to get precision and understand scale than in Illustrator. And I'll explain that in just a moment. So we are going to go over layouts uh, first, and um, I will start that in the next tutorial. Thank you.